Hey everyone, I'm Dan from Jazz Composers Present.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Peter Eldridge, vocalist, pianist, composer, arranger, professor of voice at Berklee College of Music, and member of two Grammy-winning projects. Peter is here to show us how to use reinvention to make a song your own. I'm just going to share some quick, simple devices to... Uh, in regards to reinventing a well-known and perhaps even uh, overdone song to give it a new spin, to maybe bring about a new lyric, a new emotional context in the lyric. So to get started, uh, this first video is just the A section of the classic uh, Cole Porter tune, Night and Day, as it is most often heard and performed. Night and day, you are the one, only you beneath the moon or under the sun whether near to me or far it's no matter darling where you are i think of you night and day etc think of these as night and day theme and variations uh in a, in a sense uh in the first, in this first uh, variation I'm, I'm about to show you, I, I simply change the groove to a kind of a cha-cha rumba kind of feeling. I use the relative minor uh, instead of the tonic for just add a little, add a little mystery. I added a floaty ascending bass line uh, in the second half of the A section, and I extended one of the phrases just because I wanted to spend more time uh, on that particular lyric. So this is uh, the first variation. The next variation is all about, uh, I call this my ECM uh, variation, uh, using a simple pedal tone on five and a kind of a flat two, flat three motive, uh, obviously, and taking out the swing feel, adding a kind of a heartbeat 16th note groove. Um, in each of these variations, notice how the change of groove affects the vocal phrasing. So this is the, the ECM night and day. So being a, a vocalist and, uh, and a pianist as well, I've been kind of on both sides of the rhythm section. I've been kind of heading the rhythm section and part of it. And, and the next variation is just a, a repeating four bar bass figure that the whole band would play. Um, I, you know, I teach my students to make sure your rhythm section, keep your rhythm section happy by giving them specific lines and hits instead of just having them look at chord changes. I think we can all uh, fall uh, victim to that at times on, on both sides of it, being the vocalist or being the piano. So this is a, just a simple uh, four bar bass figure that becomes the basis of the arrangement. Whether near to me or far, 
so notice after doing that baseline thing and then when we do kind of just go into the regular walking uh section it's it feels pretty powerful it ho hopefully kind of again lifts the arrangement up a little bit the uh the last variation is a slightly more pop based um version of a uh, night and day loosely based i was listening to blackbird the beatles blackbird and i just thought oh, i want to put maybe i'll try to put night and day in this world a little bit so um you know again not swinging but with with a with a repeating instrumental hook that kind of comes back uh, throughout the arrangement and with a couple more more dare i say pop based reharm so this is the blackbird version of night and day Thanks so much for watching, and I hope perhaps this gives you some a uh, few ideas to try with your own uh, reinventing. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos down below. To watch our full-length events and participate in live Q&As with our presenting artists, head to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.